Staying in isolation during this pandemic can be pretty tough, so two Bay Area groups teamed up in a creative way to check in on our local seniors. Joining me now by Zoom is Caitlin Sly, the executive director of Mills on Wheels, Diablo region, and Carol DiMaggio, the owner of Bright Future Farms. Welcome to both of you. Glad to have you with us. Thanks for having us. And Caitlin, I'll start by asking Mills on Wheels recently paid its clients a visit with the help of a very special someone. Can you tell us all about that? Sure. So at Meals on Wheels Diablo region, we deliver meals to homebound seniors and they've been cooped up and isolated for months because of the COVID pandemic. And we were able to partner with Bright Future Farms to bring horses to deliver their meals last week. And it really brightened their day and, and prevented them from the loneliness and isolation that we see so often. I imagine that was quite the sight to see. And as you mentioned, you partnered with Bright Future Farms to make this all happen. And it must take a lot to bring these horses by. Carol, how did this idea come together and what was needed to make this happen? Um, I was approached by a friend of mine who delivers meals for Meals on Wheel. And she asked us if we would possibly put something together to enable the horses to visit people. And I, we really didn't know logistically how it was going to work. We thought about riding them, which would have taken a lot longer. So then I thought, we're just going to put them in the horse trailer. We're bringing in one Arabian stallion who's just so nice and sweet. We can actually walk him up to the doorway, which we did. And so that worked out. And so um, I think it was, I was, it was so rewarding. I didn't realize they'd be so happy. I thought maybe some of them would just say, oh, how nice, a horse. But they go, can I come out? Can I pet it? It was really, it was touching, really. I choked up. <laughs> Why do you think this type of therapy is useful during this pandemic? Well, I think there's nothing like the outside of the horse. I think Mark Twain said it's good for the soul. I think there are people, I think it was just something different. I don't think they, they watch television, they eat their meals in, and then to see this horse, we even put a little Arabian costume to some bling. So it just brightened it up. And I just think it just was something different and it was uplifting for them. I believe, I believe that, yeah. Well, we love them so much, and that, there's nothing like sharing our beautiful horses with people. I just never did it in a neighborhood, <laughs> in a horse trailer. One lady said, I want to see how that horse got here. She walked out and wanted to see the horse trailer, because it was sort of like, how did you get that horse here? <laughs> so the whole thing was just fun, super. I think many us. of us have that same question. And of course, the pandemic has gone on for nearly seven months, a long time. Caitlin, what are your clients telling you, especially after this visit? Well, we, the pandemic for us at Meals on Wheels Dabble region just magnified the issues of loneliness and isolation among the seniors that we serve. And what was really amazing for us is the seniors were so excited to have the horses and even neighbors came out of their house and they were able to interact with people in their neighborhood that they hadn't seen in months. Um, so it was a really great opportunity for people to interact and for them to feed the animals and for it to really brighten their day and, and be more than a meal. And we're in some uncertain times right now, some troubling times. I'll ask this question to both of you, starting with Carol, what lies ahead for Bright Future Farms? Well, the good news is it's an essential business, so we need to go out every day. So we're not trapped in the house, which, you know, so I feel extremely fortunate just to have that. I think if everyone could go to the horse farm every day, life would be great. <laughs> it's, um, it, it's, it's still very difficult for us. Life is not normal. You know, we don't go to dinner with friends. Um, I don't know, it's strange. I thought just going to the farm this morning, seeing people walking with masks and children, I thought it's just strange and I can't wait for it to be over with. It's hard on us and it must be horrible on the people that are housebound. Yeah. So we'd yeah. love to help them. Amen to that. And Caitlin, with these strange times, what lies ahead for Meals on Wheels, Diablo region? Well for us at Meals on Wheels Diablo region, I think it means continuing to serve the increase of over 40% that we've seen in people needing our services. And it means continuing to come up with creative ways like this to brighten our seniors' day and to provide other services other than just providing meals to really combat the ongoing issue of isolation and loneliness that our seniors face every day. Yeah, yeah. 
And that's something you certainly something you certainly hate to hear, seniors being lonely. So thank you for doing this and, and, and making their day a bit brighter with this. And if you feel the need, if you want to get the horses out again, feel free to come by on Battery Street, too. We would love to look out the windows and see them. You can them. do that. <laughs> thank you both so much. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks for having us. Have a great one.